So for travel seats, a lot of people will just build out um, like little dinette areas for kids or whoever to sit in when they're traveling. Um, we're not comfortable with that. I think there's a really solid reason why uh, car seats are not made out of wood. So uh, we were gonna buy some van seats offline, but they're like really expensive and not really in the budget. Um, so, but we found a couple in the Charleston area that is redoing a bus too. And they had some bus seats. We went and got these, they were gonna be five bucks a pop. They gave them to us for free cause they're awesome. Hi guys. Um, but we are going to completely rip these apart and then use the metal frames. We're gonna use how it's built right now kind of as a template to build it out. So we're gonna take lots of pictures and measurements and whatever and just kind of recreate what already exists and because uh, if you have any thoughts or ideas, anything we haven't thought of, leave them in the comments below. And uh, here we go. So that's what the inside of a bus seat looks like in case anyone was ever curious. It looks like they wrapped the wood. Please don't hit your leg with a hammer, good God. Here's the difference, this psycho tearing one up. He did it way faster though, not gonna lie. Um, but it looks like they have wood that's like vented because they drilled holes in it and then wrapped it in plastic and put a big ass piece of foam on top and wrapped it in leather type material so we're gonna keep uh the wood pieces to use as templates and get some foam and go from there so shane got one seat done so far got all the rust off of it and went ahead and treated it with osfo just like we did uh the floor something random i wanted to mention that um when we went and visited um some friends we found online that we got the seats from that are also doing a schoolie they suggested we were talking about how schoolies just leak you know no matter how hard you worked on different things they just leak in different areas and so they called um international and they were like hey guys what do you do like how do you fix leaky roofs whatever so um, or windows or whatever. So they told us about this stuff called through the roof. This is not an ad. I don't get anything from these people. Um, but uh, you can apply it when it's wet. It's perfect for a schoolie, right? Because that's when you notice there are leaks. Um, it sticks to like anything. We put it in all the corners of our windows because even though most of them were not leaking, we did a lot of it as kind of like a precautionary thing. So. <laughs> getting ready to upholster our travel seats and um, we're cutting pieces of wood to put here and then along the back. The original seats they had like the fabric sewed and they had like all these clean seams and whatever and we're not going to do that. Um, we just need somewhere to staple the fabric into. So 
Um, we have never done something like this before, so we'll see how it goes, but Shane's cutting the wood pieces. templates that Andrea cut out of some old plywood that we had that was from the exist or from the original seats. So we're going to take our three inch foam for the seat portion and then we have two inch for the backrest. Um, so we're going to get this cut out to fit this. We'll get the fabric on it and then uh, secure it in with the brackets. Yeah and so the other, <clears throat> excuse me, the original seats were four inches uh, we didn't realize that until we watched back some videos, so we'll see if three inches works, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> again, we've not done this before. We'll see how it turns out. We might uh, completely bomb it, but yeah, uh, we tried to do everything pretty spot on to how they originally had it. So this is the fabric we picked. It's on the clearance rack at Joanne's. We like it. It's pretty unique, whatever. But basically, I just kind of cut our foam to fit this. I'm just using a basic uh, little... Uh, just a basic razor blade um, and then we're a little short on this end because um, we bought this foam from the already cut section um, where we could have had it measured exactly but we went uh, there totally unprepared without yeah. measurements and <laughs> so I'm just going to cut a little bit off this we'll uh, stick it on the end and then we'll just use a little bit of string just to gently tie around it um, that way it'll help hold it in basically just to help hold this little block here on the end. That's it, help hold it into place. The originals had a saran wrap wrapped around the whole thing. Um, I mean, it literally was not saran wrap, but. It was plastic. <laughs> it was like saran wrap, that's it. Uh, but this is all we have, so this is what we're using.
So there's the front, there's the back, or the underneath side. Uh, stapled all the way around the edges, kind of folded everything under so it was kind of smooth. Didn't turn out too bad for uh, never watching an upholstery video. I think it's all right. Um, so then in order to mount the brackets, what I did is I stuck screws in the holes. And so right here, there's a screw. So basically I'm just gonna take razor blade, cut it a little circle around there so then we can mount um, our bracket here that holds the front of the seat. And then um, there's two back here that hold the back of the seat in. So then there's one of your screws and you can pull that out with the pliers. If you do happen to do a project like this, make sure you take tons of pictures of what the original situation looks like because I can't tell you how many times we've referenced back to different pictures or video we took of the seats when we were tearing them apart because there's just so many little quirks of how things go together and you think you'll remember and you don't. Um, especially because every bus project ends up being way longer than you think it's gonna be. So we first started this like a week and a half, two weeks ago. Maybe longer. Anyway, make sure you take lots of pictures for reference. Super helpful. All right, so you have your brackets laid out. There it is. So the bracket just holds the seat to the frame, so. We got some extra, um, those are a little bit thicker screws than what were in there the first time. Those were uh, left over from demoing of the bus. Yeah, I think those were in the window frames. Yep. But yeah, we, we saved all the screws. You should, if they're in good condition, save them. We've reused a ton. Stay on, Big Mac. Big Mac sounds good. Just kidding. Beautiful. Well, there is the finished seat. On the front part, we are putting foam again like we did on the bottom. And then the back, because it doesn't matter if it's comfy or not, we just got like big, not big, I guess small project um, foam boards at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or something just to give it some um, fill in the back so that when it wraps, it's not just like dead space. So it's similar ish to how it was built out, um, originally. So hopefully that works, but that's what we're going to work on. Today. Um, so we just, uh, are filling in the back section with some two inch foam. Um, I just kind of traced around the edges of the frame, um, kind of cut the foam and just kind of pieced it together. It's going to be covered up. So it doesn't have to look pretty. <laughs> it, it'll do. It'll do. It'll do big. Yeah. It's, yeah. At some point you let go of perfection and go, yep, that works. Yep. I mean, it's not pretty, but <laughs> yeah, it'll work. be comfy. Um, and it'll be an easy thing to redo later if we feel the need. Um, so similar thing on the back, um, just with hard foam or not foam. Yeah. It's still called foam, right? It's just hard, whatever. So yeah, styrofoam. <laughs> I'm more learning here. Anyway, I'm gonna finish filling that up and then we are going to pull the fabric over the top and tack it in in the wood pieces we um, drilled into the frame and then we will be done with our first seat. Yay, upholstery. Rookies. <laughs>
is done. I am sure that um, an upholster watches our video and it's their nightmare, but for having no freaking idea what we were doing, I think it turned out pretty great. So and the kids come out and test it. Some staples that are visible Hello. that will probably put something over so they're not quite so visible, but I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? Everybody's that's all for the seats uh as always guys thank you so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, leave any comments below and if you could like the video share it with your friends thanks guys So everybody saw how our first seat turned out um, pretty good. We thought we could do a little bit better, so we watched a couple of upholstery videos, and this is our new product. We nailed it. <laughs> After we finished our first seat, um, we kind of did a cost summary um, on how much it was to build that one. Um, plus, we hadn't even bought seat belts yet for it. Uh, so after looking online, adding the lap belts, which would have been around $100, I believe, um, it would have put each seat around 250 bucks for us to buy the materials and build. Um, we ended up finding these on Facebook, and we got both of them for $250. Total. $250 total. was the total cost for both of these. And we realized, like, we could actually get the seatbelts for cheaper than Shane said, but the problem was... Um, we couldn't do, we realized, which is a big dub, we didn't think about it, we can't do shoulder belts. And that was kind of scary for me to only have lap belts. Um, so we saw these and decided that maybe this was the best way forward instead of torturing ourselves, struggling through another seat and then it not being exactly what we want. So um, bit the bullet, paid way less than they normally are. They're normally um, like at least 400 for a double seat. So it was a steal. They're brand new, they're beautiful. So we're pretty excited about it. We decided we would still post this video just in case someone does want to upholster their own seats. Not that we're experts and, um, you know, did the best, but maybe it will help someone uh, make a decision or figure out how to do it themselves or um, no, <laughs> inspire them to watch actual professionals do it. it anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update on how that actually landed, but uh, thanks for watching.